Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Tech, and in today's video, we are going to share the first 25 things to do with your brand new Galaxy Z Flip 3 foldable smartphone. This is a fantastic clamshell phone, and I want to make sure you set it up properly to get maximum satisfaction from your purchase. Let's dive in. So in a minute, we are going to be talking about the cover display and all the settings you can change on the cover display. But first, I want to make sure we properly set up battery related features, especially when it comes to protecting the battery of this phone. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your settings. You want to scroll all the way down. You want to go to battery and device care. And then what you want to do is you want to tap on battery and then scroll down and go to more battery settings. You tap on this guy and this is going to be a choice is you can enable the protect battery option. Now when you enable this option, what's going to happen is it is going to extend the lifespan of the battery, especially if you're thinking of keeping this phone for a long time. So every time you charge your phone, if this option is enabled, the maximum charge is going to be limited to 85%. If you disable, it's going to be 100%. If you enable, it's, it's going to stop at 85% and that actually slightly gives you a longer lifespan. That's one thing you want to do. The next thing you want to do is there's a pre-installed application that comes with your Samsung phone. Every Samsung Galaxy has it. It's known as the Samsung Members application. So you want to actually search for it and you want to go inside it. If you see this option, simply tap on later. Now here's what you want to do. Again, this is going to be a battery related thing. So you go to get help and then you're going to see a diagnostics menu on the top. You tap on start and all you want to do is you want to check your battery status. So you just purchased this phone. You want to make sure the battery status is normal and the life says good, okay? If this says bad or anything else, you're better off returning the phone and getting a replacement. Also at the bottom, it says battery is working normally. All right, so that's that. Let's talk about the cover screen. Now, the first thing with the cover screen that's very important is you can use it as a viewfinder for the cameras that you see in the front. So all you do, here's the power button on the side. All you do is double press. That's gonna launch the camera. Once you launch the camera, you can take a photo by tapping the volume up or volume down. So if I press volume down, it takes a photo, snaps a photo. It's great for selfies by using the main cameras. All right, so now let's see how we can customize that cover display. So first and foremost, if we just tap it once, it wakes up the display and shows the clock, date, time, and also the um, uh, battery. If you double tap it, it actually wakes up. So double tap, it's gonna wake up, it's gonna be brighter. Now when you swipe to the side, you can access a bunch of widgets that you can in fact customize. You've got the weather, you've got today's schedule, you've got a timer. Now what you can do to customize this area right here is you can press and hold. Let me cancel that. You can press and hold and that allows you to actually remove the widgets or if I go over here, I can tap on plus and any available widget is going to show up right here and I can add that to the screen. Okay, and once I'm done, I tap on back, it's gonna go back in business. So you can also go all the way up here to tap on add a widget. Now, if I swipe back over to the main screen where we have the clock, to this side, we are gonna get our notifications. So if I tap on this one, it's gonna ask me to open the app. Once I do that, it's gonna ask me to open the phone. I'm gonna go back to that. Uh, finally, what we have, let me just clear everything. If I pull this down, I have a volume controller right here. Okay, so vibrate, silent, or fully or full volume. And of course, we have the brightness that controls the cover screen, as you can see. Let's keep it right here. And that's all about the cover display and what you can do here. Let's go inside, see what else we can do from inside the phone to the cover display. All right, so in the main menu, if I go into my settings, I can go down a little bit and we have a dedicated cover screen uh, options. So I can click on it and from here, look at that. If I go to my widgets, I can do the same thing I was doing outside. I can enable and disable widgets from here and I can reorder them if I so desire, okay? So weather on the top, music at the bottom. So that's the same thing I showed you earlier, can be done from here as well. But we can also go to clock style 
and pick a different clock style for the color display. So we have these cool options as you can see. Look at this little animal. We got that color right there. All right, so that's fantastic. You can also change the background, uh, the color of the clock. And that's basically all you can do with the cover display customization. Now, the next thing you want to do with your phone is you do want to go all the way down. You want to go to your about phone. You tap on it and you want to give it a proper name. So in my case, I'm going to call it Saki Flip 3. Okay. So once you make this change, this is what everybody is going to see when you share stuff with them. So via Bluetooth, Wi-Fi or anything else, your phone is going to appear as Saki Flip 3, easy to identify and also uh, make it yours. Let's move on. Now one more thing that's really cool is the flex mode. So when you have the phone like this, it's in the flex mode. What you can do is with certain applications, when you click the camera, for example, you get a split view. So you have the screen here and you have your controls at the bottom here. Okay, so this works with a bunch of applications. Even if I go to YouTube right now, let me go to YouTube right now and let's say I play this video right here. Okay, you can see that the video splits over here and then you have the bottom portion right over here. So when I play the video, I can watch the video and I can interact with the bottom portion just like this. Now, there is a special setting that you can use to force this on any application. So you go to your settings, you go into your advanced features once you're in the advanced features, you tap on labs and you say flex mode panel. So that's going to try to apply to uh, every app that's possible. So you can pause and read the bottom of the screen has extra controls to help you use the app on the top. OK, and we just looked at that just a second ago. So when I launched the camera, that's the usual camera. But, but when I flex it just like this, let's go inside it becomes, it turns into a split view as you can see. Now, another thing that you wanna do real quick, uh, you wanna to go to your settings and you wanna go into your display and I'll let you know this phone now has 120 Hertz refresh rate. You can either keep that or you can go back to 60 Hertz and that's gonna save you some battery life, but this one, the Adaptive 120 is going to give you smoother, silkier experience as you browse around the phone. So that's going to be your choice. I would just keep this at adaptive to get the best experience. The next thing that you want to modify, which is very important when it comes to multimedia, the phone has two great speakers. So you want to go to sounds and vibration. You want to go all the way down and under sound quality and effects, you want to make sure you enable Dolby Atmos to get the best sounding experience. When you go inside, make sure to pick the auto. Or if you know you're about to watch a movie, you can just pick movie, music, or voice, okay? I just keep this in auto, works great. And the other thing is, if you're gaming, also enable it so you get the best gaming sound. Now, on top of that, you want to go back into advanced features right here. You click on it, then you go all the way down, and under video brightness, you want to make sure you enable this to bright. So anytime you launch any supported application like YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, once you install, it's going to show up here as well. You can enable it for particular applications. And what you are going to get is you're going to get a vivid display experience. The movie is going to look brighter. The video is going to be even more sharper. It's just going to be great. So enable these two features for maximum multimedia experience. Now, one more thing you wanna do is in the main settings menu, go down, go to battery and device care. Under battery, you wanna tap on more battery settings and at the bottom it says protect battery. So if you wanna extend the lifespan of your battery, you enable this. By enabling this, the maximum charge is gonna be 85% and that extends the battery. If you disable this, it'll charge all the way to 100%, but that's gonna degrade the battery sooner. Not too soon, but this is gonna extend it even more, especially if you're thinking of keeping this phone for a bunch of years. So enable that. Let's go back and back one more time at the bottom. If you see this option, make sure it is enabled. This allows you to scan for viruses, malware, spyware, and if there's a problem, it removes them. So your phone remains nice and clean. 
Some phones, some carriers disable this option. Mine is an unlocked version. Most people should have this option. If not, not a huge deal, but if you have it, boom, enable it. The next thing I want to talk about has to do with the home screen. Now, when I pull my finger down anywhere on the home screen, it brings down the notifications panel. That's an option you want to enable. So, because when you swipe up, it goes to the apps. So when you swipe down, it should go somewhere else. So pinch the screen, go to settings. At the bottom, make sure swipe down for notification panel is enabled. If this is not enabled, look what happens. I pull down, takes me to the app drawer, which I can do this way as well. So up and down, same thing, redundant. So pinch, swipe down for notification panel. And that's fantastic. Another thing you want to set up, you can see right now, we have a one, two, three, four. We have four columns, all right? So if you pinch the screen and go to settings, you can change the home screen grid. So I can go for some like five by five, which gives me more uh, space to add even more apps. I'm gonna cancel this for now. You can do the same thing with the apps, okay? So you can have more apps show up in one page, which is what I'm gonna do right now. And also pinch the screen. You can do the same thing with the folder. I can have four by four, which is 16 items within a folder. And while I'm in the folder, you can tap on this circle here to customize the color of that folder anytime you desire. And of course, the name is obvious. You tap here, you can change the name. Now, one big thing with the home screen, I can press and hold and select which allows me to select multiple items at the same time, as you can see. And then I can press and hold and move the entire batch over to the other screen. This is great for easy movement between home screens and organizing. Additionally, press and hold, lets me select a bunch of these guys, and I can say something like this. Create folder, boom, gets packaged into a folder. I give it a name, tap on this color, get a color, look what we got right here, okay? Fantastic. And also, if you're in the folder, you wanna undo the folder, you wanna dismantle that folder, select, boom, 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 press and hold, get out, the folder is gone, all right? And you can put them back where they belong. Now, one more thing, you wanna make sure this option is enabled. Double tap to turn off the screen, double tap to wake up the screen. So make sure you go to your settings, that's gonna make it very convenient. Go to advanced features, and then go down, go to motions and gestures, and make sure double, double tap to turn on screen is enabled. So as an example, if I disable this, I cannot double tap to turn off the display, okay? So make sure you do that as well, and also have lift to wake enabled. So when his phone is turned off and you lift the phone, it just wakes up the display so you can see what's going on. It applies to both the inner display and the cover screen. And then we have the finger sensor gesture. So we do have a fingerprint sensor right here. What I can do is I can enable this, then go inside and look what you can do. You can swipe down to bring the notifications panel down on the fingerprint sensor on the side. So that's fantastic, all right? Another way to bring down the notifications panel. So let's move on. The next thing has to do with your notifications. So if I go into my settings, all right, and if I go into my notifications, as long as you have the brief option selected, not the detailed, because when you select detailed, these two options at the bottom disappear. So when you have the brief, you can go to brief, pop-up settings, and enable edge lighting, all right? And that's gonna be very cool, because when somebody sends you a message, show you what that looks like, okay? So that's all good. So look at this. We have a nice edge lighting around the display. I can change the color to whatever I want. Let's go for green. And of course, if I go to advanced, you can see I can even change the width. I can make it wider and more visible. So that's a really cool effect. When you get a notification, this is what happens. So you know you got a notification when the phone is turned off. But it's only available under brief and not detailed. With the detailed notifications, when you get a pop-up, you get more details, but no edge lighting effect. Now, one more thing you wanna do when you swipe to the side, you get access to the Google screen. Now, here's what you can do. You can pinch the screen, you can go over. You actually have two options. You can use Samsung Free, which I don't recommend, or you can go do Google Discover, which is gonna be much more personalized. Pinch the screen one more time, and also let you know if you don't want anything on this side, 
kill it, all right? Just turn it off. Now, when you swipe, there's nothing there, and also it's gonna save you some battery. So that's fantastic. The next thing you wanna change, you wanna to go to your settings, and then you wanna go into your display. You wanna go down over to navigation bar, and some people don't like the buttons. If you want a full screen display, you can go to swipe gestures and look at how those buttons simply disappear. And now I can use my swipe gestures as you can see. And I can even customize my swipe gestures uh, further. You can see we can disable that line at the bottom. I can disable that gesture line, disappears. So I have a full immersive phone, all right? Some people like this. Let me go back in here for a second. And I prefer to have my buttons, so I'm going to tap on the buttons, and then I can have these buttons. I can change, here's the back, home, and recents. Now, what I can do is I can change it to back, recents, and home if I so desire. And talking about the recents button, if I tap this, at the bottom I have suggested applications, okay? So these are being suggested based on your usage. If you don't want this, you can tap here, go to settings, and disable them okay so now you don't have the recommended applications and the screen looks a little bit cleaner that's another thing to do and of course you can do some cool customizations to the lock screen right here okay so let's talk about that let me go to my settings and let me go quickly into my lock screen I'm gonna tap on it and first thing I like to do here is I like to change the contact information now I don't use it for what it is intended I simply use it to add a signature to my lock screen and customize it so now when I go out there, look at this. It says Saki Tech right there. So that's a level of customization. If you go back into that menu, you also have the widgets. You tap on this guy. You can enable or disable the ones that you want. Let's enable these top three widgets. All right. And let me show you what they are. Tap on the clock. Expands to give you these widgets. And of course, like I said, they are further customizable you can reorder them if you so desire, okay, and whatever. Let's go back. Uh, the next thing you want to do, go to the settings, lock screen, and you want to change the shortcuts. So tap on this one. On the left side, I want to have my calculator. On the right side, the camera is okay. Now in the lock screen, I have my calculator right there. Swipe side to the side, boom quick access. So that's a bunch of lock screen customizations. If you go back into the settings, you can also modify your always on display. Now right now it is designed to show up when I tap the screen. So when the screen is turned off, I tap it once and it's going to show me the always on display. If I double tap, wakes it up. Now with the always on display, what you can do is you can show I always, which is going to kill the battery. So when the screen is turned off, it's just gonna pop up for no reason so it's not gonna take too much battery but it's still taking battery so use it for tap to show or disable it if you don't want it but if you enable it you can also change the clock style you can pick different always on display clocks so that's further customization talking about that if you go into your lock screen and simply click on clock style you can change the lock screen clock style as well. So you have all these options and different color options. Let's take a look at that. There we go, okay? The more you customize, the more it's gonna feel like it's yours. Another cool thing, if you go to your messages, let's say you have a conversation with somebody. You go inside, it's white background, looks plain and boring. What you can do is you can tap on this, go into customize chat room, and then change the background image if you so desire and also change the text contrast or you can add a background image from your gallery so you can have the photo maybe of your girlfriend in the background when you're talking to her or a photo of your buddy or your family member when you're talking to them you can do this for every single person now be careful if you click this it's going to apply that setting to all the chat rooms but if you want a separate chat room for each separate person like this, simply don't click this button. Don't click this button, all right? Just do this and you're good to go, as you can see. So you can have a different background for everybody. Now, even if the phone is flipped shut or it's open like this, there's a setting that you wanna change. You wanna go to your phone, you wanna tap on the options and go to settings 
And under answering and ending calls, you want to make sure uh, you enable physical keys to take calls or end calls. So look, if somebody calls me right now, I can press volume up to accept that call or press the power, the side key, to actually reject the call or end the call. And again, like I said, you can do this even if the phone is shut. So you get physical keys to accept calls, which is fantastic. Additionally, the side key over here can be customized. So if you go to your settings and if you go into your advanced features, scroll down a little bit, go to side key, and here's what you can do. You can double press the side key to launch the camera, or you can actually click open an application. For example, I can just go for the calculator. So when I double tap it now, it's gonna launch the calculator, all right? And also uh, with the press and hold, if I press and hold, I can either wake Bixby, which a lot of people don't use, or I can access the power of menu. So press and hold, and I get access to the power of menu, which is fantastic. So make sure you customize that side key to launch any app that you want and also to access the power of many. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video. Make sure to subscribe because we're gonna be making a many more videos on this smartphone. And if you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day.